Welcome to Terra Special. This is a basic uh, QGIS beginners video. So in this video, we are going to see the QGIS interface. So first of all, let me open the QGIS app. Use the Windows plus S button to open the search bar and just type in QGIS and you can find the QGIS app over here. QGIS desktop 3.22.11 version. Click it. After clicking it, you can just see the uh, banner over here. It's been loading and it is a long term release software. If you want, you can download the software. I have shown up. I have made a video on it. You can just check it. So in this video, we are just going to concentrate on the QGIS interface. So once you open your QGIS, this is how your uh, uh, interface, interface will be. For example, you can see the recent projects which I have worked in and you can see the news related to QGIS and advancement and here you can find the project templates. So here this is a blank template. So I am going to click the blank template and open a blank template over here. So after opening, you can see this is the interface. This is how the QGIS looks like and you can find uh, tools over here. and uh, you can see a, a large empty space over here. This is nothing but it is called as map canvas where you can uh, visualize the data sets, raster data sets, vector, vector data sets. You can visualize maps. You can create maps. So this is, this space can be used for the visualization and for analysis purpose. And now we just uh, move on to the uh, next sets, next set in the QGIS interface where you can find the browser interface and layer interface. So if you don't find this browser and layer interface, you can click over here. You can just right click over here and uh, you can enable the tools over here. For example, if you want the browser panels, so these are very essential in QGIS in order to browse data sets. Uh, we'll be needing this uh, browser panel. And list, uh, next we are going to enable the layer panel. The layer panel is nothing but where we can uh, visualize, uh, we can uh, just check in what data we have added, what kind of data it is. You can check the properties, you can customize the symbology that we'll be uh, uh, looking into in future in, uh, in the future videos. And uh, you can find the tool, uh, manage uh, layer tools over here and you can see the uh, project toolbars. So this can also be enabled by clicking by right clicking on the empty space you can find the tools over here so we just uh, first uh, look on the panel customization for example you are having a panel for uh, you are having two panels over here browser and layer layer panels if you want to fit in in some other place how to do that that is what we are going to see over here first we need to click on this button to detach this panel you can move this panel anywhere you can just uh, fix it if you want you can just detach the panel and you can uh, bring it to the space which you are interested in for example you can uh, fit in over here you can uh, detach the layer, layer panel you can just overlay it over here like this you can overlay by clicking the layer panel the layer panel will be visualizing by clicking the browser panel, you will be visualizing the browser panels. Likewise, you can do it or you can make it into halves like this. You can make it into halves. Likewise, you can do it. So this is the one of the basics uh, in QGIS. If you are new to QGIS, you can just uh, use this uh, option to fit in the panels accordingly where you need it you can just fit in the panels you can also increase the panel size like this so next uh, we are going to look into the browser panel so let us see how the browser panel works in QGIS so in browser panel you can directly select the drive and select the folder where you have saved your files JS files for example, here I have saved the files in JS folder. 
you can just directly browse and uh, add the layers over here you can just directly add the layers like you like you in like you can see over here i have added the layers from the folders so likewise you can browse and add files so it would be very useful the browser panel is uh, essential in doing so so we just uh, now we just uh, move on to the layer panel layer panel is nothing but you can visualize the layers which you have added in for example i have added two layers one is tamil nadu file one is uh, the chennai file so these uh, two layers can be you can just see which are layers which, which you have added in there are some of our functions in it you can just click on this uh, manage map themes you can hide the layers by clicking hide button you can select show layers by uh, showing all the layers once again you can hide the deselected layers likewise you can uh, do a lot of things so that will be covering the upcoming videos so this is this uh, layers panel is nothing but for visualizing what layer you have added you can uh, give the importance to the layers for example i need the uh, ug gcc file to be on the top you can just uh, take it drag it and put it on the top likewise you can do it if you just uh, come up you can find the option data source manager that can be also added added if you don't find it you can click in this empty space right click over here and you can find the data source manager after enabling this you can add the layers for example if you want to add a vector file you can easily add it so if you want to add the vector file you can just select it and you can you just need to browse the file you can easily add this file by clicking for example if you want to add a shape file you can add a shape file open add it you can add raster layer as well by clicking the raster and by hitting the by hitting this button you can uh, find the layers raster layers and you can add it so these are the basic function which, uh, which you are uh, need to know in QGIS so we just move on to the next uh, process where uh, we'll be seeing uh, you can see over here let me hide this stage file so you can see a coordinate system that you can visualize if you change and uh, go to a particular location the coordinate system will be changing like guys you can just see over here the coordinate system will be changing if you want you can just copy this uh, location or you can just visualize what location i am uh, browsing in what uh, what is the lat long of the region that you can find in the coordinate section and here you can specify the scale what what scale you should uh, visualize the data for example if you select 1 is to 10 lakhs you can see you can visualize a larger area if you are going to 1 is to 1000 it will be zoomed likewise you can see over here you can go in the deeply by using the smaller scale by going to the larger scale you can visualize a larger area and the next thing is that you can see the magnifier where you can specify the zoomness for example if i want uh, greater than 100 percentage you can just click over here and you can see the magnification of the layer so it has been zoom so likewise you can just increase it and decrease it using the magnifier and you can also uh, rotate the data for example let me put in the data hit the button zoom to layer so automatically the data will be the entire data will be visualized 
for example if i click tamil nadu district tn districts the entire data will be brought in in the display section here you can use this rotate option for example it is in zero now let me specify it to 90 degrees and hit the button enter now you can see in the 90 degree it has been uh, tilted tilted likewise you can customize the rotation also and you can check the projection over here so this is the current uh, projection of this layer eps ep sg three two uh, three two six double four if you just click over here the projection will be seen you can visualize the projection you can see it has been uh, in india and it is in tamil nadu the bottom section you can just close it and uh, let us uh, look in the some more options which are available so we just uh, look on the few tools for example map navigation tool that can be also bring bring in over here by clicking on this by right clicking on this empty space you can bring the tool if you don't find it so this this tool is called as map navigation tools here you can see the hand like symbol this nothing but you can use this hand for moving the map you can zoom in you can easily move in from one place to another place you can easily move in by clicking you can just move so that is why this uh, symbol has been given it is called as pan map you can pan the map freely now we just move to the next option where you can see zoom in you can select this uh, tool you can uh, draw a rectangle or a polygon you can zoom in accordingly for example you just need to zoom in up to this level up to this much of area you can easily zoom in like that you can also zoom out in the same method if you want to zoom zoom out entirely you can do it so like this you can use this you have to just uh, click here and drag and make a big polygon or rectangle shaped selected area by performing you can do so so you can also hit the full zoom if you click on the full zoom you can see the area over here this is uh, the entire Tamil Nadu it is a uh, very smaller because I have added a file called as uh, India so according to that it has been shrunken otherwise it will be in a good uh, size for example normally it is it used to look like this I have added a larger data that is why it has been shown in a smaller level like this so you can use this tool for it and the next thing is that you can just uh, zoom into the last uh, you can use this tool to zoom to the last level like this or to the next level likewise you can use the tools layer you can use this a uh, new map view you can view the map separately in a separate window you can just see over here you can just customize this you can just rotate magnify likewise likewise you can just uh, fit into the data zoom to the selection so I haven't selected any space that's why it is not zooming you can just close it so these are the few uh, important tools if you are uh, new to the QGIS so it will be really useful for working in QGIS so finally we are going to see how to save this project so you can just see over here save project just click over here and you can see automatically a folder will be coming up so here we are going to save it to the desired location so now I am going to select a drive which I am interested in and I am going to a folder which I am interested in 
Now finally, we are going to give a name for this project. For example, QGIS Beginners 1. So this is the title which we are going to give and we are going to hit the button save. So automatically, this information will be saved. For example, the features like uh, we have added three features, Tamil Nadu, districts, UG, GCC and India, state, India states files. So that will be automatically saved. You don't have to add it uh, every now and then you don't have to add it. And uh, if you just uh, keep the Tamil Nadu like this and leave it, the next time you open it will be, uh, you can easily open it. You can also save it by pressing save as save. If you click the projects, you can find save. Save as, you can do save as. Likewise, these are the basic tools which are in the QGIS. So we'll be seeing some more tools in the coming up video. So please do provide your suggestions. So thanks for watching, Terra Special, goodbye everyone.